Plumber versus electrician. Which one's better? Which one's better? Which one's better? Which one's better? So that was kind of strange. Man, that's... Ugh. Make sure it's me. Those of y'all that don't know, this is Dustin Stelzer, and I'll tell you what, if you've not seen Electrician U, you need to go over and check it out, and if you forget what it is, just look at this shirt. So, number one, having you here is phenomenal. What all social media platforms are you on? Because look, I've got a lot of electricians, HVAC techs, roofers, and the most amazing trade, plumbers, that watch this. So, where can they go check you out? You're like hey, a super plumber, aren't you? you? You know, here's the deal. That's okay. I'm a super like People tell me all the time, they're like, Roger, I love what you do, and you can take out the word plumber and put in an electrician, and you make me a better person. And that's the way I feel when I watch you. It's like, look, you talk a lot about electrical, and don't get me wrong, I'm not pulling wires and I'm doing things like that, but the pride you have in your trade, the, the quality of work, things like that are such a big deal to me. So that's why I'm like, man, tell them where they can find you. Uh, YouTube is the big one. Thank you, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know that I'm actually a electrician good electrician. you, right there. Yeah. Not, I don't know that I'm actually a good electrician. I just want everybody else to be. Uh, so YouTube is the big one. Uh, TikTok, there's a, there's a traction that's been going on TikTok, TikTok. lately. Mm, I may try that. <laughs> yeah, I hear you've been. I hear you've <laughs> yeah, been trying that. I've, I've heard uh, you're something about it. Yeah, uh, Instagram, pretty much everywhere. LinkedIn, uh, it's all electrician you, or there's been some people that have gotten hold of electrician you tags. So some of them are electrician underscore you. Um, it, it. it happens. Cool. Guys, go over there and follow him. Check him out. Brother, how you been? We've been talking about this for a while. This has been a long time in coming. I know it has Good to been. to be here. I like your digs. I like the setup. Man, and everything's just, really cool. It's, it's definitely a little bit different. You know you are quite a decorator. It's amazing what you've done with such a modest budget. Here's what I say, though. Look, I get a lot of people message me and say, man, when are you and Dustin ever going to do anything? It's like, you know what? We've talked yeah. about it. I got to come down to Austin, see your place. Freaking cool. What's been going on? Dude, um, living in a post- uh, COVID world, <laughs> trying to figure it all out. So uh, I still doing everything that I've been doing, but business is expanding. So I've got four different businesses. I'm doing um, product line stuff. I'm doing courses, a whole bunch of different things, but it's expanding beyond YouTube. I just haven't told anybody yet. So don't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> my people will not say a word. No, they all it's know. the way they are. So like I let some little secrets out in my lives from time to time to let people know that there's some some some, some things coming, but uh, I'm not letting anybody really know what's going on. Well, here what, man, look, I want to jump right in this because people ask me a lot of times, how do I get in the trades? So I literally want to start right there. How did you get in to being an electrician? Oh man, uh, just it kind of fell into my lap. So my dad has always done you know, handyman kind of stuff, um, tile, doing windows, doors, roofing, and I've just always gone along as a kid. So naturally I got used to using tools and how to kind of work on job sites and things like that. Um, we were doing a tile job and I had gotten laid off working at Dell and I needed a job, but I wasn't really like doing anything about it. So my dad was kind of, you know, like trying to push me. And uh, at that job, we were doing it for an electrician. I walked in and my dad's like, hey, are you guys hiring electricians? This kid needs a job. And uh, they were, so I just went in and hired, or, you know, interviewed. There was no formal apprenticeship. There was no big exams or anything. It was a non-union shop. So, like, I just interviewed well, got a job, and the next day I was an apprentice. Now, that's pretty cool because, and I've been involved with the union, so I've seen the union apprentice training program. I've actually been involved with the IBEW. I did a lot of plumbing work over there and met, a, met an electrician just the other day. He says, I went through the IBEW here in town, and it's so funny, he literally came up to me at a restaurant and walks up and he's like, are you a plumber? I'm like, nope. <laughs> That's not he something says, you want to I know. be proud He of says, <laughs> are you Roger Wakefield? I'm like, nope. He says, I know who you are. I said, well, strike two. And he started laughing. He said, look, if you're pretending not to be him, that's fine. I'll walk off the... I know who you are. So anyway, he was an IBEW electrician, great guy, wonderful cool. attitude. And, and you know, that's the thing about the trades. We may talk sh about each other, but man, at the end of the day, when you see a great electrician, a great HVAC tech, plumber, whatever it is, yeah. man, we respect the heck out of each other. Yeah. And you know, I've seen a lot of your work. I love what you're doing online. You're watching you. I mean, when I came down and met you, I was just starting out on YouTube. Yeah. I'm like, man, look, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm learning, I'm learning some cool things. But you've really grown, and it's not just teaching people to do electrical work, it's teaching people how to become good electricians. Yeah. And, and, and I think that's neat. What made you want to teach other people and help them? Um, it was really, 
I've always been a nerd for this stuff. So for me, kind of the science, you know, taking my dad's tools apart and everything, that just always intrigued me. But I had never really had a job where I was doing that. And I've always been a very creative person. But getting into doing that, like taking things apart, building things, putting back together, that just intrigued me. So I found that when I woke up in the mornings at five o'clock in the morning, which I also wasn't used to, I wanted to go to work every day. Like I actually wanted to do this. And I'm like, man, maybe we're gonna work on a house today. Maybe it's gonna be a commercial building. I might get to work, you know, like Ben Pipe or something. I get it. Yeah, so I was just always super excited. And because of that, it was like, there was this kind of camaraderie, but competition amongst all the other apprentices mm -hmm. too. And it was like, you know, if I can outwork him throughout the day, then I'm gonna do it and my stuff's gonna look better. And that competition, that just kind of drive, like developed this character in me that I wasn't before. You bet. And so I learned how to be this new way. And I was also finally providing for my kid. I was able to pay child support, um, you know, so I wanted to like give that to other people. And I had friends that worked in a lot of restaurants and things like that where, you know, people were barely making it by. And so I would extend that out to them and be like, you should come be an apprentice come do this thing. And honestly, everybody I've gotten into it, they just love it. There's been a few people, but like by now over the years of doing this online, I've probably gotten thousands of people oh, yeah. into this trade. And I have people that five years later, they're like journeymen, they're you know, trying to become a superintendent and everything. And they're like, dude, thank you so much. And so I, it, to me, it's just that spark when somebody finally sees something and they're like, oh my God, this is so cool. That's what I look So you call it a splash, it's, it's really, it, or a spark, it's really a splash. I mean, we're talking about Plumbing is the Whatever. best trade to be in. Whatever, so, man. you know, it, it's when they get that little splash in their mind, they're like, look, I got this going on. It's turds though, man. I, I, it's I, your hey, turd hey, wrangling to hey, get that splash. But look, I don't have curly <laughs> hair, that's for sure. So I ain't shocking myself. Uh -huh. and, and you know, it's funny because that was always one of the things. And, and I tell people all the time, because look, and, and we give each other a hard time, but look, much respect. So my whole thing is we, I, I hear people all the time, oh my God, do y'all touch poop all day, every day? No. Just every I mean, other. Um, yeah, every every other <laughs> every other you know hour or something. And, and to be honest, I, you know, you can go months without ever having to touch poop. Months, long months, maybe years. But that's why I started doing, you know, plum study. Do you want to do commercial, residential, new construction service, union, non-union? There's so many different ways to look at it. And a commercial plumber may never touch poop in his life. But you know what? An electrician. I mean, y'all are gonna get shocked if you mess up, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's funny, there's there's kind of different schools of thought on that, depending on the level of seriousness of the people training you. Mm -hmm. An electrician could go their entire career and never get a shot. Absolutely. And that's the way it should be. It, really yes. So safety, yeah. first and foremost, no matter what trade. Yeah. But I'm in Texas and we're kind of cowboys. And so uh, it was funny to, you know, like lick your finger and touch something to, to test to see if it was hot. It was like a funny trick. Not that, that we would really ever do that. No, it's, it's, it's don't do that. Don't ever do that. It's stupid. Let me see the burn marks on your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Not that you've done it. Yeah. But no, like the, the amount of uh, getting shocked is, you know, directly to your training and how careful of a person you are. Um, but yeah, very, very different stuff. But it's the same thing with us too. Like you could do residential, you could do commercial, you could do industrial, you could have the new construction side. You could union, have just non -union, every yeah, bit of it. There's, there's so, so much it, to do. And here's what I like about electrical. You've even got more opportunities than we do because you start getting into controls. You start getting into low voltage. You start getting into to switches and, and just so many different things. And when I started putting my getting into the trades program together and started looking at all the different things electrician do, that's why there's more y'all because there are so many career opportunities. Yeah. I tell people all the time, my sons joined the union, became a plumber, but he works with blueprints, CAD, looking at drawings, takeoffs. You don't have to get dirty. Right. You, you can sit in an air conditioning set. office. You, you learn about what you're doing, you come up and the opportunities, if you learn it well, the opportunities are always gonna be there for people that put themselves in that position. Well, and look at us. I still do electrical. I'm sure you still, I see your videos. I see you getting under houses and messing with that. But, but what I'm saying is like, anybody that's kind of ambitious and you want to learn a craft, learning of the craft is the really important thing. So we've spent you know decades you bet. learning what we're doing. You, you so don't now get 40 years experience here. in one year. Yeah, it's no, impossible. No, but now yes. we're in a position to be able to speak on things and kind of move our knowledge into a different area. And that's the magic of it. You're learning something that for the rest of your life, you're going to know. And it's a very important thing. Well, look, I have done nothing but watch your, just consume your videos, love what you're doing. And man, getting in and, and you went from journey to master to electrician you. So you've really got two really cool YouTube channels out there. Now you made a complete shift. You didn't just change your channel. 
what did you do that for? And what can people go to Journey to Master and learn that Electrician U is a little different? Okay, so the kind of trajectory of what happened is Journey to Master was me documenting being a master electrician and, and actually starting up a company and um, trying to figure that whole thing out and just documenting everything that we were doing the whole time. Every time we like mistake, I got fired. Wait, the whole we, thing. We've made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Happens <laughs> often, guys. I know. Um, but that's the whole thing. It was just like my freestyle kind of truck talk. You know, there was nothing to it. But but the kind of philosophical nature, the business talks, that's why people liked it. But I also wanted to fill this like gap on YouTube where there was just no video content at all about people talking about what electricity is and, and like, electrical devices. and. So I just started doing that. I started talking about the multimeter I had, and that's where I started to get sponsored at like a really low level. I got now, reached out now, to you. Now, now you say sponsors. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm going to say, man, he has walked in with the coolest freaking tools. And I got to tell you, I'm one of these people that when I go to the tool aisle, and these are not always on the tool aisle, you may have to go over to the electrician aisle. But I've got to tell you, man, Klein Tools does some cool stuff. Yeah. I just, I do. I love their tools. So. Yeah, I'm a super Klein fanatic. Um, a lot of people try to get me to switch. You know, there's a lot of like foreign brands, a lot of German stuff that mm -hmm. they're like, hey, we should do stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 I like the, I like this uh, orange. He's got that big USA flag tattooed across his back. So he's like, you know what? It's really hard, y'all. There's not enough room for anything else. You know, On that note, though, yes. Do yes. you guys have a specific brand of hand tools that plumbers kind of go crazy about? You, you know, with plumbers, really, it, it's rigid. It's Milwaukee. It's the Walt. But those are, the, I, I know, but those are mainly power tools. And you know, the, there's really not. Uh, Milwaukee makes some great stuff. Rigid makes some great stuff. Klein makes some great stuff. I've got Klein bags. So it, it's like, look, I love Klein. Uh, I've always wondered why there wasn't somebody like that in the plumbing industry. Like, look, this is the predominant. And you can say Channel Lock does their stuff. Uh, you know, Linux makes a lot of four-way screwdrivers and, and whatnot. There's so many different brands making tools, but there's not anybody like Klein just like says, hey, look, we own electric. Yeah. And if you're going to be an electrician, it. this is what you get. And I've always thought, man, there really should be. I mean, I would love to see Klein roll over and say, look, we can do plumbing too. Hello. It's great stuff. I mean, I love the quality behind what they do. So it's, it is. It's a big deal. But what I love about them is that Klein stays in their lane. Mm -hmm. So it's actually the one thing I, I think I talk the most about them as a brand is we've got all these multimeter companies that are trying to now become power tool companies and power tool companies that are trying to become hand tool companies yes, and compete yes. and Klein is like no man we've been doing Klein for a hundred years we got a name we're great at it everybody loves us and we're just going to keep us and granted they're starting to make multi and stuff like that too everybody well if they ever want to make plumbing tools I would love to <laughs> talk to them because I'm telling you man I see a great opportunity don't here. do it don't I, do I know, it yes do it do it do it <laughs> so anyway look and, and this video is not sponsored by Klein I'm glad you brought your stuff in because man i I've got Klein tools and I do it for a reason. So after you got in the trade, which I tell people you need to find out, do you want to do residential, commercial, service, new construction, whatever in the beginning. Luckily, I got into the right part of the trade. But I mean, can you imagine if you got in as a plumber and you're building grease traps or repairing them and you're nasty, smelly every single day, you're gonna be like, look, this plumbing thing ain't for me. But you got into electrical work and apparently you enjoy it. You, you, you can tell when you make your videos, you, you take pride in it, you like what you do. I feel the exact same way about plumbing. Before we get out of here today, what would you tell anybody wanting to get into the trades? Because I recruit for the trades, not just plumbing and electrical, I think all the trades, guys get in there, the job opportunities for the next 10 years are amazing. You're gonna do wonderful and, and make a ton of money. So man, what, what would you say to anybody wanting to get in the trades right now? I would say do it if you um, if you don't know what you want to do, which I'm finding is more and more people. Uh, you're gonna aimlessly go hit a bunch of different bad decisions. You know, young in your life, if you're not going through college, I think for career decisions, there's not a lot of things out there that pay really well and are rewarding and teach you a craft over a long period of time. A lot of them are just you know going. Not in, I've been a server. I've done a lot of jobs. Not knocking any of them, but there's certain jobs where if you go do them. You don't really get anywhere else and there's jobs where if you do something like this where you're actually learning a craft honing a skill over years and years and years that's always going to be more beneficial the older that you get the more time that you get into it the more pay the more opportunity um, so this is not a job i recommend if you're ever thinking about like having a career something you stick with for a lifetime this is the kind of thing to try if you're looking for a job maybe not so much because it does take many many years for you to get good at this and this is a profession.
<laughs> He's I got a job. You. I've got you. a profession. Oh, I love you. <laughs> hey, you got a one Just don't be a plumber. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flooded.